The name of the Philippines Filipino, Pilipinas, place pins, Spanish, Filipinas, is a truncated form of Philippine Islands, derived from the King Philip II of Spain in the 16th century. During the expedition of Rui López de Villalobos to the islands, Spanish sailor Bernardo de la Torre used the name Las Islas Filipinas in honor of the then Prince of Asturias, originally referring to the islands of Leyte and Samar. Despite the presence of other names, the name Filipinas Philippines, was eventually adopted as the name of the entire archipelago. The official name of the Philippines, however, has changed throughout the course of its history. During the Philippine Revolution, the state officially called itself Republica Filipina, now referred to as the First Philippine Republic. From the period of the Spanish-American War and the Philippine-American War until the Commonwealth period, United States colonial authorities referred to the Philippines as the Philippine Islands, a direct translation of the original Spanish. It was during the American period that the name Philippines began to appear, a name that was officially adopted. Historical names in addition to the Philippines, the islands have historically had numerous other names. Ma I, according to the Zhao Rugua, S. Zhao Ru Shi, Book Zhu Fan Ji, Zhu Fan Ji, written around the 13th century during the Song Dynasty, there was a group of islands found in southern South China Sea called Ma I, Ma Yi Pinyin, Mei. The island's groups were later invaded and renamed and identified by the Spanish to be the island of Mindoro. This was further proved by Ferdinand Blumentritt in his 1882 book, Versuch einer Ethnographie der Philippinen, an attempt to the study of ethnography of the Philippines, that Ma I, which means country of the blacks, was the Chinese local name of present-day Mindoro. On the other hand, historians claimed that Ma I was not an island, but all the south of South Sea Islands groups and Manila itself, which was known to be an overseas Chinese settlement which was in constant contact with the Chinese mainland as early as the 9th century AD. Ma I consists of the Sanzao, Sanjo Three Islands, Group of Islands, Kiamayan, Kalami and Kalamian, Balawang, Balawang Palawan, and Pa Ki Nung, Busangja Buswanga. Aside from Sanzao, Ma I also consists of the islands of Pai P. Yu Yen, Ba Bu Yan Babuyan, P. Yu Li Lu, Bo Li Lu Palillo, Lim Kia Tung, Lin Jia Yan Lingayan, Lu Sung, Lu Song Luzon, and Li Ban, Lu Bang Lu Bang. It was said that these islands had contacts with Chinese traders from Canton, Guangdong. As early as 982 AD, Lei was the name given by the Chinese to the present day island of Luzon, originated from the Tagalog word Lusong, a wooden mortar that is used to pound rice. When the Spanish produced maps of the Philippines during early 17th century, they called the island Luconia which was later respelled as Luzonia, then Luzon, Las Islas de San Lazaro, Street. Lazarus. Islands. Named by Ferdinand Magellan in 1521 when he reached the islands of Hamanhan in Samar, now eastern Samar, on the feast day of St. Lazarus of Bethany. Las Islas de Poniente, Islands to the West. Another name from Ferdinand Magellan in 1521 when he learned that the Las Islas de San Lazaro also included Cebu and Leyte Islands. However, various sources claimed that Magellan was not the one who renamed the area, but his chroniclers instead. The name came from the fact that the islands were reached from Spain en route approaching the left part of the globe. Conversely, the Portuguese called the archipelago Ilhas do Oriente islands to the east because they approached the islands from the east of Portugal in late 1540s. The Portuguese referred the whole island of Luzon as Ilhas Lucos, or Luzon's Islands. Mindanao was formerly called Ilhas de Liquas Celebes because of the existence of Celebes Sea south of Mindanao, Las Ilas Filipinas, Philippine Islands, islands belonging to Philip. Named by Rui López de Villalobos in 1543 to Samar and Leyte, honoring the Prince of Asturias, the then Philip II of Spain, Caesarea Caroli was the name given by Villalobos to the island of Mindanao when he reached the sea near it. This was named after the Charles V of the Holy Roman Empire, an eye of Spain. The southern island of Sarangani was renamed by Villalobos as Antonia, in honor of Antonio de Mendoza y Pacheco, the viceroy of New Spain who commissioned Villalobos' expedition to the Philippines. 
Villalobos, also named the littoral zone between the islands of Samar and Leyte is Tendaya, Las Islas Filipinas, or simply Filipinas, Philippines. Vernacular corruption of Las Islas Filipinas, irrevocably became the archipelago's name. Pearl of the Orient, Pearl of the Orient Seas, Spanish, Perla de Oriente, Perla del Mar de Oriente, is the sobriquet of the Philippines. The term originated from the idea of Spanish Jesuit missionary Fr. Juan J. Delgado in 1751. In his last poem Mi Ultimo Adios, Dr. José Rizal referred the country with this name. In the 1960 revision of Luping Hinarang, the Philippine national anthem, the Tagalog version of this phrase was included as the translation from the original Spanish. The Philippine Islands. This was the anglicized form of the original Spanish name, used under direct American rule and the succeeding Commonwealth era. Disputed Maniolas. According to Fr. Francisco Colon in 1663, a Jesuit friar and an early historian of the Philippines, Maniolas was the name used by Claudius Ptolemy to refer to the group of islands south of China, i.e., Luzon. Colon quoted Ptolemy. S. writings speaking about the Maniolas Islands, which is probably Manila. This theory was further supported by José Rizal and Pedro A. Paterno. Rizal also said that the country was recorded to Ptolemy's maps when a sailor named Hippolas told him the existence of beautiful islands in southeastern Far East. However, Trinidad Pardo de Tavera rejected this notion on his 1910 book, Notice para una cartografía de Filipinas, Notes for the Philippine Cartography. Barusai. Along with Maniolas is the Barusai which was also quoted from Ptolemy. Barusai is believed to be the Visayas with Mindanao, thus, composing majority of the now Philippine archipelago. Ophir, Hebrew, Wapar is a region of islands mentioned in the Bible, most famous for its wealth. Accounts mention that King Solomon received the riches of the region every three years. At the emergence of the hydrography of Spanish colonies in Asia in the early 17th century, Dominican Gregorio Garcia wrote that Ophir was indeed located in the Moluccas and the Philippines. In 1609, Juan de Pineda wrote a diverse collection of literature relating biblical accounts of Solomon, Ophir and the islands. Former Prime Minister Pedro A. Paterno said in one of his works on conjectural anthropology that Ophir is the Philippines because the scented wood Solomon received from Ophir also exists in the islands. This notion was however, later dismissed by modern historians as merely alluding and comparing the Philippines. Position to the Spanish economy with that of Ophir to Solomon's kingdom. The sudden discovery and colonization of the islands bringing wealth and prosperity to the realm. Tawilisi, was an ancient kingdom in Southeast Asia reached by explorer Ibn Battuta. He reached the kingdom when he left Sumatra and headed towards China. According to the historical accounts of the explorer, he met Erduha, a legendary warrior princess from Pangasinan. However, according to William Henry Scott, Tawilisi and its warrior princess Erduha are fabulous fairy tale fiction. Proposed names Herring Bayang Katagalugan, Sovereign Tagalog Nation. Andres Bonifacio's suggested name for the Filipino nation, intended to be governed by the 1896-1897 Republica ng Katagalugan, Tagalog Republic, although unrecognized by non-Tagalog Filipinos. This was later used by Macario Sake for his 1902-1906 government that was suppressed by the Americans. Kapatiran. Brotherhood or its semi-equivalent Katipunan. Assembly. Gathering. Luzbaminda. A portmanteau of the first syllables of the country's three major island groups, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The term has sometimes been interchanged with Luzbimindas, due to the territorial claim of the country on eastern Sabah in Borneo. Maharlika, Sanskrit, Maharhika. Nobility. In pre-Hispanic Philippines, the Maharlika was the noble warrior class whose members were essentially the same as common freedmen, distinguished by their duty to serve the ruler in battle. In 1978, then-President Ferdinand Marcos supported a House bill mandating the country's renaming to Maharlika. 
The bill did not pass since the term was seen by numerous ethnic groups as imperial in nature. Rosalia. Named after national hero José Rizal, in a similar fashion to Bolivia being named after Simón Bolívar, Republica Rizalina. Rizaline Republic. While exiled in Japan, former revolutionary general Artemio Ricarte proposed the name and had already drafted a constitution for this attempt at a revolutionary government. The term has been pushed by many pro-Rizal Filipinos, however, the term itself is criticized by many as Rizal was not in favor of Philippine independence during the Philippine Revolution against Spain. City and provincial names In other languages the 1987 Constitution provides that Filipino and English be official languages of the Philippines. The Constitution does not contain a provision specifically designating an official name for the country, however, Republic of the Philippines is used consistently throughout its provisions in English. Article 14, Section 8 of the Constitution also mandates that the Constitution be also promulgated in Filipino but no such official Filipino version exists. Republica ng Pilipinas is the de facto name of the country used in Filipino. When standing alone in English, the country's name is always preceded by the article the. However, the definite article ang does not precede the name in Filipino contexts. The country has throughout its history been known as Filipinas. In the 1930s, the scholar Lope K. Santos introduced the Avocada alphabet for writing Tagalog which no longer used the letter F as this sound was absent and was usually pronounced by speakers of several Philippine languages as P. The Avocada alphabet also subsequently spread to other Philippine languages which had been using spelling systems based on the Spanish abecedara. Thus, the form Pilipinas propagated and came into general use. The Commission on the Filipino Language and National Artist, Virgilio S. Almario urges the usage of Filipinas as the country's official name to reflect its origin and history, and to be inclusive to all the languages in the country that already have the new eight letters of the modern Filipino alphabet, officially used since 1987, which includes the letter F. Unlike Ireland which uses the name Ir Ireland to identify itself at international meetings, the English name usually appears to identify the Philippines e.g., when there are meetings in the United Nations or the Association of Southeast Asian Nations in this setting. This is also the tradition even if the meeting is held within the Philippines. In many Philippine languages such as Tagalog, Pilipinas is used, while some other languages, including Ilocano and Chavacano, use Filipinas. Though the name Philippines is the official name that is used by the country's government for international and domestic businesses, numerous major languages of the world still use their own translation or transliteration of the name Philippines to refer to it. See also Catalogo Alfabetico de Apellidos Filipino Juan de la Cruz Philippine Name References Printed Sources Cooley, William Desborough, 1830, The History of Maritime and Inland Discovery, 2, Longman de Morga, Antonio, 2004, History of the Philippine Islands Vols 1 and 2, Kessinger Publishing, ISBN 978-1-4191-2427-3, ISBN 978-1-4191-2427. 3. Originally published by Antonio de Morga as Sucesos de las Islas Filipinas in 1609, reprinted by Kessinger Publishing in 2004. Duca, C. 2004, Philippine History, Rex Bookstore, ISBN 978-971-23-3934-9, ISBN 978-971-23-3934-9 Guerrero, Milagros, Encarnacion, Emanuel, Villegas, Ramon, 1996, Andres Bonifacio and the 1896 Revolution, Suliap Cultura, National Commission for Culture and the Arts, 1, 2, Guerrero, Milagros, Schumacher, John, 1998, Reform and Revolution, Kasaysayan, The History of the Filipino People, 5, Asia Publishing Company Limited, ISBN 978-962-258-2286 Halili, M.C., 2008, Struggle for Freedom, Rex Bookstore, ISBN 978-971-23-5045-0, ISBN 978-971-23-5045-0, Hurt, Friedrich, Rockhill, W.W., 
1911, Chao Ju Kua, his work on the Chinese and Arab trade in the 12th and 13th centuries entitled Chu Fan Kai, Imperial Academy of Sciences Keat, Jin Ui, 2004, Southeast Asia, a historical encyclopedia, from Angkor Wat to East Timor, ABC Clio, ISBN 978-1-57607-770-2, ISBN 978-1-57607-770-2 Moharas, Russell B. 2006, Brains of the Nation, Pedro Paterno, T. H. Pardo de Tavera, Isabelo de los Reyes, and the Production of Modern Knowledge, Ateneo de Manila University Press, ISBN 978-9715504966 Scott, William Henry 1994, Barangay, 16th Century Philippine Culture and Society, p. 6, ISBN 978-971-550-135-4 4 ISBN 978-971-550-135-4 ISBN 978-971-550-135-4 Scott, William Henry 1984, Pre-Hispanic Source Materials for the Study of Philippine History Revised ed. ISBN 971-10-0227-2 Sheehan, Kevin Joseph 2008, Iberian Asia, The Strategies of Spanish and Portuguese Empire Building, 1540-1 1700, ProQuest, ISBN 978-1-109-09710-8, ISBN 978-1-109-09710-8 Spate, O. H. Christian, 1979, The Spanish Lake, Taylor and Francis, ISBN 978-0709900498 Tope, Lily Rose R., Dech, P. Non and Mercado, 2002. Philippines. Marshall Cavendish Reference Books. ISBN 978-0-7614-1475-9. Truxillo, Charles, 2001, By the Sword and the Cross, The Historical Evolution of the Catholic World Monarchy in Spain and the New World, 1492-1825, Greenwood Publishing Group, ISBN 978-0-313-31676-0, ISBN 978-0-313-31676-0.